So tell us, what would your advice be for students at Sierra College that think they want to do something in ag and natural resources and are still figuring out what that is? So don't give up, I think is what I would say. You know, as I was a little kid, I always said I wanted to be a horse trainer. Yeah. I think my parents probably always hoped that I would do something else. And <laughs> it was hard and it's still hard, yeah. you know, and it took a lot. There were a couple of years where I was like, I can't do this anymore, yeah. but it's my passion. Yeah. You know, this is what I want to be doing. I was so lucky to find a great group of people that supported me in this. And, mm -hmm. you know, that, like I said, Crater Hill and, and my boss and his family that have allowed me to follow this dream. I think he likes you. Hi. Um, <laughs> but don't give up, you yeah. know, because it takes a long time to get there. Mm -hmm. But if you love it, and there's so many different avenues, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe we can't always make it just training endurance horses. So we do children's riding lessons. Mm -hmm. Um, we do leasing, we do sales, mm -hmm. you know, and explore different avenues. Even if all you want to do is be out there riding, you know, be willing to look into some other things. Yep. And for me, like, you know, even going to go look at horses for people, it's, it's just little ways to find niche markets in it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, and, and like I'm sponsored by a feed company called Integrity. Okay. Um, so that kind of thing, you know, yeah. if, always get people on your side, get team yeah. players, yeah. you know, get a good relationship with whoever, you know, your vets, your farriers, your your feed stores that will continue to send business and you just kind of work as a team in the industry. And, and my biggest thing is don't give up because there are hard times yeah. and then there's great, you know, yeah. we've had a couple of really great years, but it took a long time to get here. Yeah. And you had to do a lot of, um, just self-education and identifying people to go ask questions and yep. learn from. And yep. so talk a little bit about that. So I was, like I mentioned before, very lucky that I had, um, parents that were very supportive of this horsey habit. My mother's a veterinarian, so I also got a little bit of education in that, which was awesome. Um, but basically, I became a working student as soon as I could. Yeah. You know, I took as many lessons as we could afford, and then I would work for my lessons. Yep. And I did everything for anybody that would teach me. I would spend hours out there cleaning stalls, putting in the sweat equity, and in the end, it pays off. You know, yeah. you may be miserable and it's going to take years and you've got to do your time and you've yes. got to be the assistant and you've got to be the person that cleans stalls and, yep. you know, does all the grunt work to get to that person that, you know, now gets to handle the horses 24-7 and gets to do what you really want to do. 